Did you know that visual development and ocular motor skill development actually starts in infancy? But first, make sure you like this video and click the bell button so you never miss an upcoming video. All right, welcome back to the Harkla YouTube channel. I'm Jessica. And I'm Rachel, and we're the in-house occupational therapy assistants here at Harkla. And we are so excited to be talking with you about this topic today. We are gonna dive into ocular motor skill development in infancy, how baby's vision really develops in the first year of life, what some challenges might look like in infancy, and then some of our favorite activities for your baby. Just wanna take a quick second to let you know about a live webinar we have coming up on July 16th at 1 p.m. This is an early intervention webinar designed for parents with infants or toddlers, as well as therapists and other professionals working in the early intervention space, working with children birth to three years old. We are going to teach you some really simple and effective sensory strategies and primitive reflex strategies to help your child thrive in those first few years of life. This webinar is available for continuing education for OT practitioners after you take the webinar and pass the post test. You do get 0.2 AOTA CEU, so make sure you get registered today. Save your spot. You do get access to the recording to watch as well and some really amazing freebies. Yep, the link to register will be below. If you are a new parent, if you are an early intervention therapist, and you are looking for a giant toolkit on supporting your early infant's development, their sensory development, their primitive reflexes, their ocular motor skills, make sure you check out our full course. We will link it in the description below. Now, in the first two months of life, a baby's vision is not developed really at all. And in fact, they're not gonna be able to see farther than about 12 inches away from their face, as well as they're not gonna be able to really see clearly and understand what they're seeing. Those first two months of life, their vision and their ocular motor skills are just barely starting to get going. You may see them cross-eyed pretty frequently. You may see one eye kind of drifting to one side and back and drifting to the other side. This is pretty common in this birth to two month range. We are gonna talk about some other red flags here next, but let's talk about the two to four month age range where we see some visual skills really start to improve. So they start coordinating their eye movements a little bit more fluidly. They're starting to visually track horizontally and that vertical tracking is starting to improve as well. They start to recognize faces a lot more at this age range as well. And they begin to develop visual attention and fixation on objects in their environment for a little bit longer. Next, in that four to six month age range, their binocular vision is starting to develop. So they're gonna start visually tracking more in wider ranges and more smoothly coordinated. With both eyes, their depth perception is starting to develop, so they're gonna start reaching and grasping for toys in their environment. By six to nine months, their convergence and divergence, so ability to go cross-eyed and then look away and follow something away from their face is fully developed. They are developing that visual motor planning, so they see an object and then they reach to grab it. They use their vision to help guide and lead crawling and exploring their environment. And they're starting to visually track and watch people that they recognize and those voices that are familiar, they're starting to track them and visually find them in a busy room or from across the room as well. Now by 12 months, we wanna see our baby being able to look between objects, which is what we call saccades or saccades. So if they have a toy in their hand and they see mom across the room, they can look back and forth between the toy and mom across the room and back again. They've also developed a very strong visual memory to remember people and familiar places. And then they can also start visually tracking and anticipating activities like rolling a ball back and forth, we're really gonna start to see them engaging in rolling activities, throwing activities. We know babies love to throw things, and this really has to do a lot with their visual development. So a few red flags to just be aware of and have on your radar. If your baby is not making eye contact by about two to three months, if they are unable to visually track an object by around three to four months, if their eyes are going cross-eyed or if they're drifting, past four months old, if they have a lack of interest in visual stimuli or tracking objects within their environment, and if one eye is constantly turning in or out really consistently. And then if your child is struggling with reaching gross motor milestones or fine motor milestones, if they're delayed and they're crawling or walking, it's really important to look at those ocular motor skills as well. 
So those are some things that you wanna just keep an eye on. And if you notice those things in your baby, it is very, very important that you talk to your pediatrician, get a referral to a professional who works in this area to start working on those skills because early intervention really has such a huge impact versus waiting and seeing. Now we're gonna give you our top five favorite activities for babies, infants, even toddlers, to really help develop these ocular motor skills. These are activities that we use in the clinic with our early intervention clients, but that we have also used with our own children and that we highly encourage you, if you are a parent of a baby, to do with your child to develop their ocular motor skills. So the first thing you can start with slow visual tracking while on their tummy and while on their back. So you can start when they are really young using high contrast visuals, black and white picture cards, and just moving them around their environment. You wanna see that their eyes are able to visually track these, starting horizontally and then building into different planes like vertically and diagonally. The next activity is when you are taking your baby for a walk, make sure you are pointing things out in the environment and talking about what you see. So baby is able to hold their head upright and they can look and turn their head and you can point and say, look at the big green tree, look at the yellow flowers and get close to the objects if possible so baby can maybe reach out and try to touch them. But really talking about the environment and pointing to the different things that you see that your baby is seeing is gonna help develop all of those ocular motor skills. The next one is really simple because you don't need any equipment at all or any toys, it's just you making faces at your baby, fun faces, laughing, talking, making funny sounds, singing to them, just looking at them and making eye contact and playing with them while they're on their tummy, while they're on their back, while they're sitting across from you, maybe in their high chair, just connecting with them and moving in different planes as well to work on some of those visual tracking positions. Next, while baby is in tummy time, you're gonna do some ball rolling activities. So this ball could light up, it could make noise or it could just be a regular ball and you laying on your tummy as well across from your baby you're gonna just roll the ball back and forth even before your baby can push and roll the ball back to you you can still roll that ball forwards backwards to the side similar to the visual tracking activity we gave you in the beginning but this one is just in front of them and really you're focusing on that convergence and divergence of the baby being able to watch the ball come close to them and then watch as it moves away from them and the last one we're going to share with you but definitely not the least is working on cause and effect toys so one of our favorites is the spinning toy from Fat Brain Toys where you put the, the little spinner on the stick and it spins as it goes down. So they're watching it from top to bottom. It's got that cause and effect. But again, you don't need that toy. You can use any sort of cause and effect. They push a little button and the toy pops up. Was that a Jack in the Box? It's kind of like, no, Jack in the Box, oh, you, spin. you spin. But that would be a good one too. <laughs> but this one, you know, I, I don't know. I had one as a baby and my parents gave it to yeah, me. Yeah, it had several buttons. Right? Yeah, you push the button and it pops up. Um, bubbles, again, are great. Ball games. Any toys that a child puts in and then it does something or they put on and it does something. Again, just great for their visual attention as well. Yep. So if you have a baby, if you're a therapist working in early intervention, try these activities, do them on a daily basis. They're very simple. They don't require a lot of equipment and they're great to do during those waking hours when baby is playing on the floor or when you're out going for a walk. If this video was helpful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. You click that bell button so you never miss an upcoming video. Yep, make sure you're following us on Instagram. We're at Harkla underscore family, as well as at All Things Sensory Podcast. Don't forget to listen to our podcast, All Things Sensory by Harkla. We have our own YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed there as well. And then you can also listen and watch on all major podcast platforms. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Our top favorite Vibrant. I'll talk about how it sucks in the first two months. <laughs> There's like for our brains. Love. It's good for our brains. Get it together. It's good for